Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a little first impressions on this gorgeous Huda Nude Rich Palette. So, little fun surprise. I, along with two of my other friends, purchased each shade. So I bought the rich shade, Angelica bought the medium, and Amy bought the light shade. If you guys didn't know, we just hung out um, last weekend at Ipsy Live, and so, all of a sudden, it was kind of a surprise, but Angie told me she had bought the medium, and I was like, oh, funny story. Even though I said I wasn't gonna try any of them, I did pick up the rich, and then we may have uh, low-key peer pressured Amy into getting the light because she is very much a pale princess, and so I'm so excited to be talking about this palette because as you can tell, I did use it on my eyes today and I had a fabulous experience doing it. So without further blabbering, let's get into how I created this look. Okay, we're gonna try this puppy out, see what it looks like on my actual eyeballs. I've definitely had, you know, better luck with some of these palettes than others, like the Precious Stones I really liked. Um, then I didn't so much love her neons, and I haven't looked at this palette. It's been sitting in my house all weekend long, so here we are. I'm going to finally film this demo and chat a little bit about it. So here is what the palette looks like. I got the shade Deep. I was eyeing Medium. But I was a little bit worried because I didn't know if medium, the shades would look exactly like my skin tone. And I didn't really want things that are just going to keep blending right into my skin. So this is interesting. I'm excited. I have all of Huda's bigger palettes, a majority of her mini palettes. And what else do I have? Oh, and they just announced a new Huda palette. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I woke up this morning as I'm filming this in trend mood had posted. The thing I like about Huda is she launches like a little by little. Um, she doesn't do like huge launches of stuff at one time. She just launches like a palette here, a mini there, like, you know, it's very interesting how some brands do that while others like ColourPop will launch a whole collection. So I'm just tapping into this center shade. It's like a mauvey purpley shade. This almost reminds me of her, she had a palette, was it called like Marvelous Mauves or something? It was a mini palette that was like a more burgundy tone palette. Um, so this kind of gives me that vibe. I'll try and try and throw up a picture so you guys know which one I'm talking about. So I'm just throwing that in the crease just to start off and my eyelid was primed with my makeup revolution cut crease in the shade itch this is my new favorite i got the dark color and i really really like it so this is blending in amazingly well so that's good i always worry i don't know i seriously i've had such hit or miss with these types of palettes with her that it does make me nervous and yeah it's like a good price point but it's not like the cheapest palette around either you know you're still putting in a good amount of money for these so next i want to go into this brown this chocolate brown looks amazing these don't have names i don't think and i just want to throw that in the crease as well just to deepen things up Ooh, that's pretty i think these palettes would be so fun for like a makeup artist um, especially like for wedding makeup if you have like um, brides and bridesmaids to do I think this would be fun plus they're like small and it's kind of like everything you need in one little palette so just blending that into the crease and onto the lid and just so you guys know as well um, Angelica, my friend Angelica, has the medium palette, so she's going to put up a video showing you guys her work with the medium palette. And then Amy from Amy Loves Makeup has the light palette, and she's going to do a look with the light palette. So we're kind of doing like a collab just for fun, just to show you guys the three palettes on 
three different skin tones. We thought that would be really fun. It was so funny because Angie um, said on her, will I buy it with you? She's like, hold on to your panties. I bought something. And that was exactly how she told me she bought it too. Um, she was like, hold on to your panties. You're not going to believe what I bought because she's not like a neutral person at all. Like, she just, she just doesn't wear neutrals, which is totally fine. Um, and so it was just so funny that she bought this palette, um, in the medium. Because, like, it's a neutral palette. Like, <laughs> there's no way around the fact that it's not a neutral, you know? So I did add a bit of this shade as well. Um, it didn't really do anything to deepen up my crease, so I'm just gonna leave it. And then I want to go into the darker shade. And again, I just want to give myself some depth. I love creating a good smoky crease and outer corner with matte shades. That's what I do. It's my jam. This, so far the mattes have been really nice. So I'm impressed. I'm happy. I was a little nervous because, you know, like I said, haven't had the best, best experiences with Huda mini palettes sometimes. But this one so far has been good. I'm worried about the shimmers too, so we'll see. Okay, so many shimmer options. Who? which one, which one, which one? Okay, I think I'm going to do this color. It has like a duochrome element to it. And I have a clean, flat brush here. So I'm going to dip into it. I'm not going to use um, a wet brush at first because I want to see what it does. Okay, so it's definitely very shimmery, so I do want to spray it. I'm going to try and pick up a lot of shadow. And then I want to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray to wet it. This is very much for me like a burgundy palette. Um, I don't know if I would call this like if I had said, oh, I'm going to make a nude palette. I don't know that this would be it. I would probably, if you were looking for like a brown um, palette, like a tan girl friendly brown palette, I'd look at Brown Sugar by ColourPop. That's like the most neutral brown, like easygoing, everyday kind of color palette that I've found recently. It's like a beautiful neutral palette, to be very honest. But this one is fun. Like this red shade definitely has like a beautiful uh, bronzy duochrome to it. So I hope you guys can see that. I'm really enjoying foiling this. I have gotten lazy, you guys. I don't foil my shadows as much as I used to. Wow, this shade is stunning. It has a duochrome to it. I don't think it's going to pick up on my camera, but... Holy crap. Now I kind of want the medium. But I'm going to watch Angie's video first. So, Wow. <laughs> so pretty. Holy smokes. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the matte brush that I used and just blend the two, the shimmers and the mattes together. <gasps> I love that so much. I wasn't expecting to. I wasn't expecting to love it. Like, you know, I was like, oh, it's going to be, you know, fine. But that's gorgeous. Wow. So, I really like the shimmer. It's really, really, <laughs> really stunning. So, I'm going to finish up my makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the eyeshadow look. Like I said, I really had a fun time playing with this palette. I always have a, you know, I think I want to say like a 50-50 shot of really either liking these palettes or not liking them. So I'm so happy that I really enjoyed playing with them. These shimmers are so smooth and buttery. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful shimmer shades. So I am so impressed with this palette. I am going to continue using this palette probably on a daily basis. And then I may even pick up some of the other shades during the Sephora sale. Like I had mentioned during the demo, Sephora just announced that Huda is launching a new palette, a big palette. 
So I am so pumped to check that out. I definitely think I will be picking that up here in the future. Oh my goodness. I had such a good time playing with this palette. Here are the swatches. And then I believe Angelica and Amy are gonna send me swatches of the palettes they bought on their skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert those swatches right now. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing the swatches from the light and the medium palettes courtesy of Amy and Angelica. Thank you so much guys for collabing on this little video with me. And again, here are the swatches of the Rich palette in case you guys didn't catch it the first time. So stunning, I love it so much, I'm so excited. So I just wanted to pull some palettes and show you some comparisons. I wanna say, this one definitely reminds me of the Marvelous Mops. It was like a burgundy palette that she initially came out with from her original minis. I'll throw up a picture so you guys can like see a little comparison. And then I have the Ruby. This is the Ruby Obsession. So I just wanted to show you guys um, the Ruby Obsession against the um, Rich palette from Huda. So here is the side by side. As you can see, this one definitely has more red tones. So beautiful. I definitely think you could pair these together. The other palette I immediately thought about when I saw that Huda had announced a nude collection was this guy. This is Brown Sugar by Colourpop and honestly I definitely slept on this palette. It's a very neutral palette. It looks very boring but these are very creamy mattes, very beautiful shimmers. If you want a true like brown tone palette, this is the one to go for. As you can see, when I'm holding a truly brown palette next to this one, this one definitely looks more burgundy and mauve. Um, this one definitely looks more of a true brown, whereas when I hold it up against the ruby, this one looked very neutral. The other palette I did think of is the Proceed With Caution palette, um, but as you can see, this one is definitely more Again, like um, oranges, yellows, it's a different type of palette. So not really that many things to compare it to. And then I have the Huda um, Remastered. This is brand new, as you can see. Have not even dipped into this. Not really seeing too many similarities there. And then I have her Desert Dusk, which is her like purpley themed palette. God, these palettes are so pretty. So I see some, like, um, I don't know, similarities there. So if you have this palette, you might be able to dupe some vibes. And then this is her newest big palette. Um, this is the new nude, so this is the one that kind of inspired the different tones. As you can see, there's definitely some shades here that are similar. I am not going to swatch these because I'm sure you guys have these palettes, but I just wanted to do some show and tell and then of course my probably most neutral big 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 palette is the Natasha Denona Biba palette and uh, this is the little baby Huda palette next to it so um yeah just wanted to show you guys some neutrals some similar is shades so I so far first impression I used one two three four five six of these shades and I love this so far, honestly, because I had like the worst time with the neons. I did a first impression when I got the neon palettes and I was like struggling. I still need to go back and try out those palettes because I haven't really like worked up the courage to go back, but oh my god, these are so good. I literally want the medium now, but I'm going to watch Angie's video first. So I'm going to go ahead and link the other gals' videos down in the description box and please check those out. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below with your thoughts on this palette. I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye!